So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to the session of PIB Current Affairs. In today's session, I will bring to you some more important questions from the PIB news, which are important for all the government exams. If you are preparing for any government exam, guys, then this session is going to help you a lot because you all know PIB से बहुत सारे questions exam में आते हैं. So PIB is the most authentic and most important source for the current affairs for all the government exams of India. Okay. So let's begin with the session. But before we begin, do subscribe to the channel and press this bell icon. You can also join this Telegram group or the channel. Its link you will find you will find in the description, and here you will get the PDF of this session. And you can also follow me here. Uh, here also you can ask any doubt. So let's talk about the very first question, which says: Consider the following statements with respect to distribution of seed mini kits program launched by the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. And who is the Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare? Mr. Narendra Singh Tomar is Lok Sabha constituency is Morena. Okay. So this program has been launched by Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, which is seed mini kits distribution of seed mini kits. Okay. So let's discuss about this news. What is the news? So the news is that the Union Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare has launched this distribution of seed mini kits program, and under this particular program, they are going to distribute. Eight lakh twenty thousand six hundred seed mini kits in three hundred and forty-three districts across fifteen states. Three hundred and forty-three districts. Me, Pandra states. Me, they are going to distribute eight lakh twenty thousand six hundred seed mini kits. All right, and these seeds, guys, will be of rape seed and mustard. Mustard. Rape seeds or mustard. Ke ye seeds honge. And in the pilot launch, they are going to distribute these two seeds. Or after that, or be sare, or be kai sare seeds will be distributed. Now this has been done to increase the production and productivity by increasing the seed replacement rate, and this will definitely enhance the farmers' income. And now 2022 आने ही वाला है, so we have to achieve, we have to double the farmers' income. We have to achieve the target of doubling the farmers' income by the next year. Now let's talk more about this particular news. So remember, this program has been launched under the National Food Security Mission, Oil Seed and Oil Palm. Oil Seed and Oil Palm Mission is under the National Food Security Mission. Uske andar ye program launch hua hai, and it has been launched from Morena and Shiopur districts of Madhya Pradesh. ठीक है, it has been launched from Morena and Shiopur districts of Madhya Pradesh. Also remember, for this year, it has been launched as a pilot project. इस साल के लिए ये पायलट प्रोजेक्ट की तरह लॉन्च हुआ है एंड अक्रॉस दी सेवन डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स और ये सात डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स कौन से हैं दीज आर मुरैना एंड शिवपुर ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश बनासकांठा इन गुजरात राजस्थान में भरतपुर हिसार इन हरियाणा एंड देर आर टू डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स ऑफ यूपी विच आर वाराणसी एंड एटा सो दीज आर दिन डिस्ट्रिक्ट वेयर दिस प्रोग्राम हैज बिन लॉन्च एज अ पायलट प्रोजेक्ट फॉर दिस ईयर उसके बाद ये पूरे देश में लॉन्च हो जाएगा राइट right? Now remember the seeds, the varieties of seeds that they are going to distribute are three, which are JK six five zero two, Champion and Dawn. This is important for NABARD exam. They can ask you uh, what variety of seeds they are going to distribute. So these are three JK six five zero two, Champion and Dawn. And of course, the seed mini kits will be absolutely free of cost to all the farmers. All right. So this was about this news, and now let's come back to the question. Here you have to identify. Correct statement regarding this. Okay, you have to identify the correct statement and identify the correct statement. Identify the correct statement. Okay, so the program has been started under National Food Security Mission, Oil Seed and Oil Palm. This is absolutely correct. Also remember, Indonesia is the top uh, palm oil palm oil producer in the world. It has been launched as a pilot project in 15 districts for this year. No. Is that so? No, fifteen. No, yes, seven districts. It has been launched as a pilot project in seven districts. All right. Then the selected uh, varieties of seeds to be distributed are JK six five zero two, Champion and Dawn. So this is also correct. One and three will be the correct answer. Option C. So I hope this question is clear. Moving ahead to question number two. With which of the following institutes of ICAR, which is nothing but Indian Council of Agricultural Research. apida what is apida agricultural and processed foods export development authority apida remember is a statutory body it was established under the apida act of 
Apida Act of 1985, and it, it is headquartered in New Delhi. So, with which of the following institutes of ICR, Apida has signed an MOU to promote export by focusing on creation of product-specific clusters along with development of technology. So, this is a very direct question. Or in any MOU question, you just have to remember two or three things. Number one, uh, between which organizations the MOU was signed. Number two, the objective of the uh, MOU. Iske alawa kuch bhi yaad rakhne ki zarurat nahi hai. So here in this uh, question also, just remember uh, that Apida has signed the MOU with Central Citrus Research Institute, which is located in Nagpur. Which is located in Nagpur. And what is the objective? This is for promoting export by focusing on creation of product specific cluster. Product specific clusters along with the development of technology. So just remember the objective and the organizations between which the MOU has been signed. All right. And this is located in Nagpur, as I told you. Nagpur is also known as the city of oranges, and it is also the Lok Sabha constituency of Minister of Road Transport and Highways, Mr. Nitin Gadkari. Okay. And remember, guys, the MOU will be uh, the MOU will be promoting climate resilient agriculture, promoting gap certification. What is this gap certification? This is good agricultural practices. Good agricultural practices is the full form of gap. Okay. Blockchain technology shaping business models around the needs of the farmers and also end to end sustainable value chain. This, of course, you need not remember. There is no need to remember all these things. This is just for the basic understanding that what they are going to do under this particular MOU. So the correct answer was Central Citrus Research Institute located in Nagpur. Question number three, with which of the following international organizations, <coughs> National E-Governance Division has organized a webinar on cyber safety for women and girls. This October month guys is observed as the national month for cyber security. And National E-Governance Division has organized a webinar on cyber safety for women and girls. Remember this organize this webinar was organized in collaboration with UN Women. Let's talk about the news. It has been uh, organized in collaboration with United Nations Women. United Nations Women is an agency of United Nations, of course, as the name suggests. It is also headquartered in New York. It is also headquartered in New York. Do remember the headquarter of United Nations Women because it is in news uh, for the in, in the last year for so many times, so it can be asked. All right. Now remember this webinar is a part of jointly launched series of initiatives by NEGD, National Governance Division and United Nations Women with the theme India's Digital Dreams and Cyber Safety. So there are many initiatives of NEGD. Ke. There are a lot of initiatives of NEGD and United Nations Women which are based on the themes this India's Digital Dreams and Cyber Security and under that, under one of those initiatives this webinar was organized and the objective of these initiatives is to encourage safe and equal online spaces for women and girls. All right. And as you all know that month of October is observed as National Cyber Security Awareness Month. And for this year, for the year 2021, the theme for observing this month as a cyber security month is do your part hashtag be cyber smart. Do your part hashtag be cyber smart is the theme. So do remember the theme also. So therefore guys, the correct answer will be what option C United Nations women and do remember it is headquartered in New York and Dr. Seema, Dr. Seema has been recently appointed as the executive director in the month of September 2021. Dr. Seema has been appointed as the executive director. This is actually not Seema. This is Seema. Okay. Now moving ahead to question number four, which of the following ministries has mandated the discoms, which is nothing but the distribution companies to undertake energy accounting on a periodic basis under energy conservation act of 2001. This is the same act guys under which the Bureau of Energy Efficiency was established in the year 2002. The Bureau of Energy Efficiency established was it was established under this act only. Energy Conservation Act of 2001 and now the Ministry of Power has mandated all the distribution companies, all the power distribution companies to undertake energy accounting on a periodic basis. Now what is this energy accounting? Let's move ahead. 
so remember the ministry of power which is headed by mr rk singh and rk singh of course lok sabha constituencies ara which is in bihar aur ye bhi aajkal bahut zyada aapko news mein dikhai de rahe honge because uh, the delhi government has cited that we have a coal crisis due to which we can face we might face in future the electricity crisis as well so rk singh is the minister of power and he is also the minister of new and renewable energy so the ministry of power has mandated all the discoms to undertake energy accounting on a periodic basis now remember this regulation has been issued by bureau of energy efficiency this has been issued by bureau of energy efficiency under energy conservation act of 2001 only jo energy conservation act hai 2001 ka uske under bureau of energy efficiency ne ye regulation issue kiye hain all right now this accounting report remember guys will be prepared by the help of experts and these experts will be identified by bureau of energy efficiency now what information will it contain kya information hogi is report mein ye jo energy accounting hai what is the benefit of this what information will it provide so remember it will provide all the information about electricity consumption by different categories of consumers across the country and also the transmission and distribution of losses in various areas jo bhi transmission ke baad losses hota hai all the information will be provided through this energy accounting report also it will identify areas of high losses and theft and enable corrective action kuch log hote hain ki jahan pe bijli chori hoti hai jaise kanpur ki ek wo bhi hai documentary bhi hai katia maar agar i don't know aapne dekhi hai ki nahi usme pura dikhaya hai ki how the kanpur people are uh, you know jo kis tarike se wo bijli chori kar rahe hain ab main yahan pe kanpur ke har logo ki nahi keh raha main kuch logo ki baat kar raha hu of course aur us pe documentary bani hai katia maar isliye maine yahan pe point out kiya benefits of this measure what will be the benefits so this measure will enable fixation of responsibility on officers for losses and theft it will definitely enable the discoms to take appropriate measure for reducing their electricity losses and the discoms will be able to plan for suitable infrastructure upgradation these benefits are just for the basic understanding it will never be asked in your exam and isme koi subject descriptive question bhi nahi aayega this is for the understanding that what benefit will it provide to the power distribution companies okay just remember that all the information regarding the electricity consumption and transmission losses will be provided by this energy accounting report and it has been mandated by ministry of power of course and the regulation has been issued by bureau of energy efficiency under energy conservation act of 2001 all right so now let's come back to the question the correct answer guys will be what option d ministry of power headed by mr rk singh Moving ahead to question number five, who has been conferred the Aryabhatta Award Astronomical Astronautical Society for India? It should be by who has been conferred the Aryabhatta Award by Astronautical Society of India for his or her outstanding lifetime contribution to the promotion of astronautics in India. Remember, this society is located in Bangalore, Bangalore room here, and who is the uh, president of this society? It's Dr. K. Sivan. who is of course the chairperson of uh, isro so remember this award has been conferred to the drdo chairperson g satish reddy drdo ke chairman hai i hope aap sabko pata hoga that uh, mr g satish reddy is the uh, chairperson of drdo so he has been conferred with this aryabhat award by astronautical society of india and also k sivan k sivan last year won the von karman award von karman award 2020 was conferred to डॉक्टर के सिवन तो इस न्यूज में इतना ही पढ़ना इससे ज्यादा डिटेल में पढ़ने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है नो नीड टू गो इन टू द डिटेल्स ऑप्शन इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स बाय विच ईयर द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ उत्तराखंड हैज टारगेटेड टू अचीव 100 परसेंट कवरेज अंडर द जल जीवन मिशन ना वॉट इज दिस जल जीवन मिशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जल जीवन मिशन गाइज इज टारगेटेड टूवर्ड्स प्रोवाइडिंग टैप वाटर कनेक्शन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट रूरल हाउस होल्ड 100% rural households by the year 2024 2024 tak 100% tap connections will be provided under this particular mission jal jeevan mission and it is being implemented by ministry of jal shakti of course ministry of jal shakti which is headed by mr uh, uh, that person whose lok sabha constituency is in jodhpur i am forgetting the name minister of jal shakti okay so jal jeevan mission will provide under this mission the government will provide 100% tap connections to all the rural households by the year 2024 
and now the question is regarding the government of uttarakhand by which year they will complete this target so this was a news because uh, minister of state and jal shakti minister of state and jal shakti mr uh, pralas singh patel visited the uttarakhand to have the uh, ki kis tarike se jal jeevan mission wahan pe chal raha hai okay to review the progress of jal jeevan mission in the state he visited uttarakhand and he found that 47.3% of the households in uttarakhand have been provided piped white water connection and the government has targeted to achieve government has the target to achieve the target of 100% uh, piped water supply by the year 2022 2022 tak jo india ka target hai usse 2 saal pehle and yes the minister of jal shakti is mr gajendra singh shekhawat gajendra singh shekhawat his lok sabha constituency is jodhpur all right so let's come back to the question now 2022 will be the correct answer because the government of uttarakhand has targeted that they are going to achieve this 100% target of piped water supply by the year 2022 moving ahead to question number 7 with which country india has partnered to collaborate for academic research and competency building in traditional medicine system very direct question again in this type of partnership question or mou question you just have to remember the name of the countries and the objective okay that is it usse zyada yaad rakhne ki koi zarurat nahi hai so the question is regarding the partnership of india in the area of academic research and capacity build, competency building in traditional medicine system all right so this country remember guys is croatia croatia is the country and croatia's capital of course is zagreb Gambia's capital is Banjul. Gambia's capital Banjul. Zambia's capital is Lusaka. Seychelles' capital is uh, Victoria, and of course Mauritius' capital is Port Louis. So here the correct answer is what option E, Croatia. Question number eight: In which district of Uttarakhand, Union Minister of Civil Aviation Jyoti Raditya Sindhya has inaugurated the Dune Drone Mela? Iske naam se hi aapko answer pata chal jana chahiye. It is saying Dune Drone Mela. and in this particular mela there was an exhibition of uh, various type of drones what are the uh, objective of the you know uh, that drone policy of 2021 what are the objectives of the civil aviation policies all these things were presented during this mela so that is not important for the exam just remember this dune drone mela was inaugurated by minister of civil aviation jyoti raditya sindhya and it was inaugurated it was held in dehradun district of uttarakhand okay and dehradun is that district where recently india's first cryptogamic park was inaugurated india's first cryptogamic park okay now moving ahead to question number 9 which is the last question for today how many science and technology hub who is the minister of science and technology dr jitendra singh dr jitendra singh his lok sabha constituency is udhampur Udhampur of course is in Jammu and Kashmir will be created by the government of India for SCs STs to promote scientific talent and contribute to socio economic development of these communities so basically they are asking how many uh, STI hubs will be established by the government of India for promotion of SCs and ST theek hai for promotion of tackle uh, for promotion of talent of SCs and ST in the area of science and technology so remember 75 75 science and technology hubs will be established across the country for the welfare for the promotion of talent of scs sts in the area of science and technology and these hubs of course will be established by the department of science and technology all right now these hubs are meant for the welfare of scs and st it will not only promote the talent of uh, scs st but also contribute to the socio economic development of these sections of the society now talking more about this news so remember in the last 2 years 20 sti hubs 13 for scs and 7 for sts has have already been established by the government and these has these sti hubs has these three objective ye jo hubs honge iske ye teen objective honge number 1 to address the weakest linkages in the livelihood systems through science and technology livelihood systems mein kya kya weak points hai unko link kiya jayega with the science and technology and uh, those जो भी वीक जो भी वीकनेसेस हैं इन द लाइवलीहुड उसको इंप्रूव किया जाएगा देन द क्रिएशन ऑफ सोशल एंटरप्राइज बेस्ड ऑन द स्ट्रेंथ इन लाइवलीहुड सिस्टम 
to improve the indigenous knowledge system through inputs of science and technology so that the livelihood can be strengthened all right so this was about this news and now let's come back to the question so therefore guys the correct answer will be what option e 75 75 is the correct answer to this question so that's it for the session today guys i hope all the questions are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section the pdf you will get in the telegram channel so go and join the telegram channel and if you liked and enjoyed the session hit the like button thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless